Hi folks, Mike Norman here. Well, I was watching CNBC. Yes, CNBC this afternoon. Now there's a station I hardly ever watch, but I happened to turn it on. I guess I was really bored. And gee, guess who popped up? None other than Peter Schiff. That's right, Peter Schiff came on with some more ridiculous commentary. I just had to make this video. It's been a few days since I made one, but I couldn't help myself. Um, Peter Schiff talking about this uh, big sell-off in the stock market today and saying, well, gee, I don't know if this portends anything more. We can't know these things in advance. Well, gee, isn't he the guy who predicted the housing bubble? Um, and so he talked about a bunch of things here, uh, talking about how he was much more uh, bullish on countries in Asia, for example, Japan and China. And in the case of Japan, he said his rationale was that, well, gee, they just had a change in government over there, the first change in, in government in 55 years, and now maybe that means they're going to stop subsidizing us. Well, this notion of subsidy, folks, is absolutely ridiculous. It is almost comical. Uh, think about when you go to Starbucks or when people uh, go to Starbucks. Is Starbucks subsidizing the customer? And for that matter, think of any vendor or business in your neighborhood or any business that you do business with. Does that constitute a subsidy when you buy goods and services? from that business? Well, you should think of it in the following manner. What happened if consumers didn't buy anything from businesses in the neighborhood? They'd go out of business, and that's exactly the uh, analogy that applies here with countries like Japan and China. Japan has embraced an economic model, if you want to call it, where they have decided that they're going to sustain their output and employment by selling us goods. Now, if we stop tomorrow purchasing those goods, well, guess what? Japan Inc. is out of business, and for that matter, so is China. Now, if you call that a subsidy, you know, I, I don't know, maybe you got eyes uh, somewhere in the back of your head or, or you see everything in reverse, but you know, it's kind of like these statements. I mean, I guess you ought to still say that the world is flat. Or maybe that the Earth is the center of the solar system. You know, these things were proven 500 years ago. And about 200 years ago, a guy named Adam Smith, an economist, pretty much proved the same thing, uh, that uh, these do not constitute subsidies. Now, another thing that Schiff said, another comical thing I should add, is that and he just throws these things out kind of like sound bites, you know, without reflection. And the sad part is that a lot of you, you just accept it without even delving into it or trying to find out what the truth is. He says, well, the problem here in the United States is that we have no savings and they have all the savings. They can afford to uh, enact stimulus because they have the money. Well, Peter, what money? I guess it's our money, right? Because they have dollars. That's what you're always talking about over there. And they got that, those dollars, those paper dollars, by selling us real assets, real goods, the things that we use every day in our lives. But this notion, this, not even a notion, this statement, because that's what he said, that there's no savings. Well, folks, it's easy to look up. Stuff like this is easy to look up. That's the beauty of the, of the internet. Here you go. This is a chart I printed out of personal savings in the United States. And you could see how here, I hope you could see this chart in 2008. Yeah, we did dip way down. But now look at where we are. An all-time record high. And I don't know if you can see the number there, but that comes close to almost $700 billion in personal savings in the United States. So maybe it's not enough for, for Peter. Maybe he considers that to be nothing. Uh, but in, in a historical context, that is a huge, huge increase in personal savings here in the United States. Now, just a quick comment on uh, today's uh, sell-off in the stock market, Dow, down 185. I don't think... Um, it, it, it's going to last very long. I don't think if this is the beginning of a, a, a new bear market or the resumption of the bear market, however you want to say it. I think it's a buying opportunity. The economy is improving. Schiff could go on day by day saying that it's not, but you might as well just say the earth is flat or the, sun, the earth is the center of the solar system because it's the same thing. It's basically the same thing. Just deluding yourself you're deluding your followers. Um, feel free to be deluded if you like to, 
But anyway, there's a little bit of truth for you right there, folks. That's it for me right now. This is Mike Norman. I'll see you next time. Take care.